Hey guys, welcome. Today I will be talking about how to create a number plate recognition system using YOLO V5 and EGOC. So for this we need YOLO V5 and for YOLO V5 we need PyTorch. So if you follow this session carefully, you will be able to uh, install PyTorch on your local system. So after installing PyTorch, let's install EGOC. So you, you write pip install EGOC on your command prompt and it will install EGOC. So guys, after installing EGOC, I was facing some issues with uh, cv2.im show and some C++ distribution. So the error are like this. You can see that this is something with, uh, with cv2.im show and this is with C++. So after searching the net, after searching uh, going through many articles, I have found this solution. So this cv2.im show issue, this is because of this OpenCV Python headless. And then this issue, this C++ issue, uh, this is because of the 4.5 version of OpenCV. I don't know why, but it occurs. It happened with. Uh, it happened to me. So if you face this kind of issues, do this. Pip uninstall uh, OpenCV Python headless. Then after that, pip install OpenCV Python 4.3.0.38. So after doing that, uh, you won't be facing any issues. So I'm I'm working with this this setting now. So we have seen how to install PyTors and how to install EGOS here. After that, this is our pipeline. So here, this is our frame. We are passing that to yellow V5 for number plate detection. So it will it will give the bounding box for number plate. Then we are using that bounding box information, that bounding box coordinates to crop out the number plate from the whole whole image. And then after cropping out the number plate or this portion from the whole image, we are passing this cropped image to EGOC and then it will it will do it will do the recognition of all the texts that are present on on this number plate you can see and then after that we are we are applying some uh, some kind of filter to to filter out unnecessary detections and then we are getting our final ledger so this is our pipeline so to to build a custom uh, yellow v5 number plate detector you can you can follow this video so guys basically I have created two videos so this one is how to train how to uh, custom train yellow v5 on your custom data and then how to deploy your yellow v5 so this is this is uh, this is basically after training the model after training yellow v5 how to use that weight file and how to do your detection so this is for inference and this is for training i would suggest please watch this video so you'll be getting a good understanding of how to custom train yellow v5 and how to how to write and understand deployable code or deployment code for the yellow v5 so let's go back to our project so this is the pipeline okay so i have taken data from these two links you can you can go to uh, these links and you can download data and you can train your own custom yellow v5 model or you can use your own number plate detection data to train your custom yellow v5 model so this is the pipeline we're following we are we are passing the we are passing the image to yellow v5 then cropping out the number plate from the whole image then passing to egos here and then we are recognizing the text now let's go to the code so guys here you can see this is the main function we are calling this function when we are running this python script so here you can see we are calling the function here and we are giving image path so this is card 53 you can see so this is output okay this is input this is car 53 you can see so we are giving this image yeah we are giving this image to the model for number plate detection and number plate recognition so here you can see when we are calling this function it will load the yellow v5 model you can see so this is source local because we are, we are, we are loading the model from a local source that is our custom pc and you can see this is the path is base.pt so here you can see you know this is the path so after training your yellow v5 model on custom number plate data you'll be getting either uh, base.pt or or you know last.pt or some epochs you can you can use any of the weight you want it basically depends on your project and uh, what do you want from your project so according to that you can use any weight file that you got after training so uh, we are using this base.pt file here so basically we are loading the yellow v5 model here so here we are extracting the class name so here we are creating a path for our result you can see 
so it the result will be stored inside output folder so this is a folder i have here and all the results will be stored here so here then after that we are reading the image here we are converting from bgr to rgb then we are passing that to our detector and then we are getting the result from the detector after that we are converting back from rgb to bgr then we are calling plot boxes function so here we are passing results that we got from detection and then the frame this one and the class name so let's check the plot boxes function so this is the function we are calling here so after getting results frame and classes we are we are extracting labels and bounding box coordinates from results then you know this is the number of labels that are present here then x shape and y shape of the frame you can see so after that here we are looping through all the detections that are present on this frame then here we are filtering out the bounding boxes based on probability threshold so all the bounding boxes which has a threshold greater than 0.55 uh, we are considering all those boxes here so here we are extracting x and y coordinate of the bounding box then after that we are passing that information to another function that is recognize plate egocia so here we are passing image the whole image then coordinate of the bounding box then egocia so here egocia we have instantiated at the beginning so here we are initiating the uh, egocia and we are using en that for english language and here we are we are using a threshold of 0.2 to filter out wrong detections so here we are, we are passing egos here and the threshold value so this is the function we are calling right so this is the function you can see after getting that after getting image coordinate uh, reader that is egos here and the threshold value we are extracting x min y min x max y max values from the coordinates uh, these are the coordinate for you know bounding box then we are, we are cropping out the bounding box we are cropping out the number plate from the whole image so basically guys we are here we are cropping out the number plate from the whole image right after cropping out we are passing that image to the egos here so it is reading the text here then after that we are we are passing the results and the number plate here results and the threshold value to filter text function so this function what we are doing we are calculating the the whole area of the result and then the you know and the uh, area of the text the localized text then we are, we are dividing the that area the localized text area by the whole area and then we are using that value to to uh, compare with the threshold value and if it is greater than the threshold value we are considering the text other than that we are not considering so basically guys here when we when you run the code when you run the code you will see values like this so if you print other uh, result of egos here you will see values like this so this is the detection this is the final detection uh, sorry this is the recognition that we got from egos here and this is the bounding box coordinate for the text here so basically you can see so this is the cropped out portion this green line inside this green line this is the cropped out portion we are sending to egos here and this bounding box this is the coordinate for this red box you can see here and this is the text result you can see and this is the probability for that text result so this is the result we are getting from the egos here and we are dividing this red area by this green area so basically we are saying here if you know if let's say if our threshold value is 0.2 or 0.1 0.2 let's take 0.2 so our OCI threshold value is 0.2 so we are we are filtering out that if the area of the text the localized text is greater than 20% of the whole area then we are we are considering that text so there might be some other text here you know here and here but but that area would be smaller than this area right would be smaller than this area so in, in that case that would be if we don't use this filter then we'll be getting false detection in that case so hence we are using this one so after so after using that after using the filter it will it will return the text then we are getting the text here then we are converting the text into uppercase and we are returning the text so basically here we are returning what what is written on the license plate so after that this will return the text here you can see number plate and then we are uh, we are printing we are, we are 
putting that information on the frame you can see here so then we are returning the frame so after getting the frame here from from plot boxes function we are we are showing the frame here in, inside the while loop and when we close the while loop we are saving the frame so this is the whole pipeline now let's let's check this whole process in action so here we are we are putting cars 53 save the file and run the command so python deploy.py if you run the command okay it is it is loading the model and everything here see see this is the detection and this is the recognition we are getting from our whole model so this is one image let's take another image right let's take so inside the test image we have we have you know so yeah inside the test image we have let's say car 74 so now check car 74 save and run So we are getting the good result here. The CJ CG i7 KOD. You can see. So guys, guys, uh, I told you about the filter, right? Uh, about the area we are dividing. So in this case, there might be a chance that you know uh, EGOCR would recognize this thing and it will give another set of bounding boxes, another set of probability for this text detection. But we don't need this text. We need only this text, right? So hence we are we are saying like okay. The, the area of the localized text should be greater than 0.2 or 0.3 or whatever threshold we want should be greater than that hence will be will be you know will be filtering out the wrong detection or the small detection here so that's why we are using that filter so this is done so guys here i have written the code for video path also you can you can uh, you know give input to a video and then you can see the see the result so i have already done that so this is the result that i have got from this model you can see so okay it is treating the license plate you can see guys you can see k01 mn4259 right and then it is it is you know it is uh, it is facing some issues while detecting this because you can see the angle is not good and you know the object is too far for the egos to detect but but when the object is nearer you can see near to the camera you can see od 320 i think it is d but it is uh, getting zero here and 7070 and then here also you can see you can see it is working it is working so you can see okay it is not that working here <laughs> anyway so you can see like you are getting my point so to to create a uh, to create an effective number plate recognition system the camera angle should be good no, the position of the camera and, and the and the everything should be good everything should be should be tested and then you can use the uh, use the system so let's see others okay yeah okay p28 okay 0c but tc 9336 we're getting good result you can see so this is the video i shot on uh, on the highway so this is a custom video and uh, yeah you can see you can see so let's let's move ahead mm, yeah let's wait for the truck oh yeah okay wait 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 mm -hmm. you can see guys you can see we're getting good result here also so yeah 0d 10h 4787 we're getting good results on the raw data mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay that is occluded okay not working so okay tn04 p7788 so guys see you can see like our model is working but uh, okay i have trained the model for you know i think for 200 epochs i think so so you have to you have to customize your model according to your need according to your data and you have to be careful about the camera placement and uh, everything everything related to your project 
i think after that it will it will give good result so this is the project pipeline for automatic number plate detection and recognition system you can you can follow this thing so i'll upload everything to the github and i'll i'll give a link everywhere like in the description of the video in the github edit me file so guys i hope uh, you like this project so please like the video share the video with your friends and uh, please subscribe to my channel i'll see you in the next time till then take care